Ma'am, very, very good evening to you. I had a fantastic time here and thank you so much for inviting me to the Green School Bangalore. As you know, I'm um, a big fan of people who not only talk about sustainability but action out and show people it's possible to become a sustainable organization. And uh, that's my inspiration uh, that I seek from you. Can you share with our viewers why do you think you are a friend of the earth? <laughs> See, we always wanted to do a green, uh, green school. Rather, it was my dream from like a couple of years by now. The Bangalore school was conceptualized somewhere in 2012. And uh, the green school was actually uh, the entire, when I saw the one green school in Bali, Indonesia, I was thinking, why can't I have a bamboo school? It yeah, was like that. So I thought, why I can't train my teacher, uh, children and teachers to be more, uh, you know, resilient. So the whole concept was uh, like, uh, you know, uh, came up about say a couple of years back. And this actually became a reality in 2019. And then I wanted to understand like, what are the green uh, materials could be used to, to do a green school. I thought it will be much more cheaper proposition. But I realized that it's not. The more green you go, the more expensive it becomes. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. We give you give them a kind of a, uh, not a brick and mortar kind of a school. We want to give them a, a kind of more of air and lung space. Uh, that is where the whole concept is. Like we had given them more of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the fresh air which is coming inside the school and the fresh sunlight and stuff like that. So correct me if I'm wrong, ma'am. Basically, you're saying it's more expensive to have made it a completely sustainable yes, space. Yes. But in the long run, we are paying much lesser in terms of health yes, and cost. Absolutely. And uh, just the livelihood for the students who come and absolutely. study here absolutely. because you're providing for nature to be in its best. Yes. So absolutely. in the long run, we are actually getting it for much cheaper. Absolutely. Awesome. So we have also planted lot of trees around. So that gives a lot of oxygen, especially oxygen uh, emitting trees. Okay. So they know because like bamboos, they give a lot of oxygen. So children actually know how many liters of oxygen each tree gives. So the value of the plant, uh, you know, the trees on the, on the planet, which is to be known by the children. And we are the future ambassadors. So we are here to create green leaders. That's one aspect. Second is we wanted to cre create more of ad energy solar energy, we want to teach them about wind energy. All this thing can happen only when they are in the real life, real life situation. Correct. So we have made it like a solar school. So entire uh, school is like on a sustainable thing like where there's no electricity at all being used. You're it's saying, a zero energy school. You're saying you're not paying any electricity bill no, to the government. Not. You're completely and that's why they self And that's why they leave the fans on. Oh, good Lord. Now that is just fascinating. Thank you so much for that, ma'am. A uh, couple more questions. I also read about your zero waste initiatives. Can you tell us a little about that? See, children are making the, uh, the waste. Uh, they're taking the waste, the kitchen waste, and they're segregating the waste. The kitchen waste is, goes into making the organic manure, and that the paper waste, that is the other waste, is, it is there. So they are, we are planning to have a waste management plan soon. So it, they are going to be taught how to make uh, the eco papers, you know, in the school. Because the idea is, if it's a sustainable school, the children should know going ahead that they cannot throw away even the, this kind of waste, which could be recycled. So the recycle, reuse, reject is what you can see in my furniture as well. Super. If you see in my classroom furniture, it's not made of wood. Okay. It's made out of waste wood. Can I have a look at it? Yes, okay. it's in, inside that economic okay. block. So you can see that and that's actually Canadian maple wood. Again, people say that it's very cheap to do a kind of a green wood, I mean green sustainable wood, but no, it's like quite expensive because when it falls down from the, from the tree, it gets compressed ah. and then the compressed wood is like it's made into a Canadian maple wood and it comes from Canada. Okay. It's not from India. Okay. And then here in India, they do sell, but it's not the original Canadian maple wood. So you can see that there's a difference between that wood and what it sells here. But we're trying to teach children that you can make furniture from waste wood. So that's one thing. And then again, our bricks, if you see that, even this bri the, the laterite stones, what we use, it actually keeps, it keeps the spoon very cool inside. So you're talking about the red bricks yes, that you yes, see here, yes, okay? Yes, they're laterite stones. The laterite stones. Yes, awesome. yes. They keep the they keep the building very cool inside. Okay. Although it's very warm outside, but inside you feel it. Cool so if at all you need to use an AC, it'll be much yes, lesser yes, here. Yes, yes, Fantastic. Yes. So that's the whole uh, concept of the school which we have done. And even if you see my flooring, we use natural stones in the flooring. We're not used any of those fancy things like granites and marbles and all. We're not used. And these are also actually we've used vertified tiles, which is actually made out of bottles. 
So these burdi fat tiles which are made, and it comes from all the way from uh, you know Mulbagu. Okay. From that's where I get my this thing. Fantastic. And I'm planning for my dining block. I'm trying trying to get the handmade Atamuri tiles. So this is all the whole concept is like clay bricks. It's coming up and bamboos. We're going to make uh, this the, the dining block. So we want to create the kind of a sustainable school for the future, where children will understand. Like if I'm going to go ahead. doing something for the society for the planet how sustainable can you be because if you are not going to be in a sustainable school you you have to preach what you are doing actually absolutely. that's what i believe awesome yeah. i love absolutely everything i heard to the extent yes. that i want to be a student back in your school again ma'am sure, thank sure. you so much i had a great time seeing you